Idea Gen TV live from the HOSA International Leadership Conference with Kartik Tiagi, International President of HOSA Future Health Professionals. Kartik, welcome. It's so great to be here. Uh, great to be here with you. Appreciate it. It's an exciting moment in time. And for the millions of people that watch Idea Gen TV and this specific program, I'd like to ask you, Kartik, can you tell us a little bit about the mission, the, the vision, the purpose, and your specific involvement having started as a member, local officer, state officer, and today, International Executive Council President? Thanks for the question. Uh, you know, I, I joined HOSA back in August 2015 as a first year student in high school. And, and it's an honor and privilege to serve as, as international president. Uh, at HOSA, our, our main mission is to empower our close to 260,000 members across the globe to become leaders in the global health community uh, through educational opportunities, collaborative opportunities, and then engagement opportunities. Uh, so we're really, really blessed to have a strong presence both in and outside of the classroom. Uh, in middle schools and high schools across the globe, as well as at the post-secondary collegiate level, uh, with the core goal of really mitigating long-term workforce shortages uh, in the health industry, supporting that pipeline need. And, you know, what an incredible need and what an incredible purpose. I mean, the pipeline of future health professionals is all of the work and the work that we hear about that's necessary for a holistic approach to solving the healthcare riddle, <laughs> it appears to me that HOSA is part of that solution. Yeah. And getting into the middle schools, to the high schools, earlier than perhaps someone that's just about to begin their career is a smart move, I think, for companies, not profit organizations, whoever's looking for healthcare professionals, wouldn't you say? That, that's where it is, right? That's where the interest is, that's where the passion is, that's where uh, the fervor is for individuals, for students who are wanting to become involved in uh, filling the need, but also stepping up uh, to serve. Uh, if it's an emergency in disaster preparedness, if it's in or outside of a hospital or a clinical setting, uh, host of future health professionals is where it's at, not only for students, but also, like you mentioned, for, uh, for, for companies, corporations, nonprofits. Uh, really blessed to have a, a wide array of partners and sponsors that, that support and uplift. Our students. And you know, it, it, it's the right move, obviously. And so, do you believe, I think you've answered this question, but do you believe that HOSA and the pipeline can be that pipeline? Can, they, can it be the pipeline of future health professionals year after year mm -hmm. and ultimately reduce the shortage of healthcare providers in the future? 100%. 100%. I think uh, we call ourselves that since 1976. That's what we've been doing. And uh, with around close to 3 million alums of, of HOSA uh, since that time, uh, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, admiration from my end, as well as a whole lot of folks to say uh, members of HOSA have stepped up, uh, are serving in our communities. And the best thing to me is they come back to, to inspire and elevate uh, current members and, and future uh, members uh, alike. So uh, a very great program. And, and I do think that the organization has stepped up uh, to fulfill that charge. That's right. That's right. And so why, Kartik, is it so critical for young people to make decisions mm. about their career interests as early as middle school or high school? Sure. Yeah, I think that's a good question. I think for me, uh, it's not so much making a career decision as uh, understanding or begin to understand what uh, folks are interested in at that level. For students at the middle school and high school level uh, to figure out or at least expose themselves to things that uh, they might see themselves do it. And so uh, in HOSA, really proud to say that students have a, an opportunity to, to choose to, to become involved in, uh, in items and competitive events and service opportunities and leadership uh, based on their interests, based on what they're wanting out of an opportunity. Uh, not so much, uh, this is what I want to do. This is, I know it's what I want to do. And I'm going to do it from here to eternity. Uh, really uh, catering to all sorts of members, members Incredible. who know what they want to do as well as uh, those who are intrigued and interested, but maybe don't know 100%. Sure, sure. And so what is so unique and special? What is so unique and special about health and biomedical sciences? And in terms of the students, 
mm. who are active members of hosts of future health professionals in high school and college. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, our members understand uh, now more than ever that there is nothing more personal uh, than health and health care. Mm -hmm. uh, I know the last right. few years have, have taught us all a little bit about uh, epidemiology, the armchair pandemic research, <laughs> uh, and, and, and taking a look at, at how relevant these things are to the average person. Uh, and so for, for me, when you ask me a question like that, I think uh, our members have dedicated their, their days, their times, their studies yeah. to wanting to make an impact in the things that, that affect all of us, not, not just them. Yeah. Um, and, and, and that's why it's so rewarding to see students uh, who know that they want to lead a life right. that, that is dedicated to others. Yeah. And leadership development. That's another mm. piece that I think is so important and integral to what HOSA is all about. So this leadership development is an important part. Training and experience is also part of that leadership piece for HOSA members preparing to be future health professionals. Why is that so important? <laughs> well, because it's, it, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not enough to, to know. Uh, we need to be able to share. We need to be able to grow. Uh, we need to be able to, to, to impart on, on our fellow family members, friends, loved ones, uh, what matters to us. And so in HOSA, uh, what matters in the classroom uh, is important, uh, but it's as important to, to have those leadership skills, to have those soft skills that propel future health professionals forward, uh, that without those skills, uh, knowing the knowledge and, 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 and being an excellent student uh, may not be enough, right? And so as we enter uh, an age where we need a diverse uh, diverse array of, of healthcare providers. Uh, being able to, to leverage those soft skills uh, will, you know, undoubtedly prove to be very beneficial not only to, to them but uh, to, to future patients, uh, to future future in, uh, individuals who, who need healthcare services. And one of the incredible, you know, focus on leadership. I think that is part of the secret sauce of HOSA, right? Mm -hmm. Is <laughs> the leadership piece, that ultimate leadership piece that allows for someone to step in, take action in the most critical way, which is about someone's health. <laughs> and so as we look at chapters, so the host is made up of chapters all across right. the country and across the world now. Um, what is the value, Kartik, of member-led mm. chapters? What is that inherent value? Why is that so important? And what is the role of the HOSA advisor sure. in that structure? No, I mean, two great questions. Uh, the first piece, I mean, uh, anyone that's involved with HOSA will tell you that it's a student-led organization, something we pride ourselves on because we know that uh, students are going to be critical in the future of healthcare, and, and they're really the leaders of this organization. So I think it's uh, at the local level where we have chapters and schools and institutions across the world, uh, we do say that they're member-led, uh, that each member elects students to lead yeah. the activities of each of these chapters, to understand yeah. what matters. Uh, to each of these schools and regions and areas. Yep. Uh, as it relates to the advisor, none of the operations of a chapter would be possible without mentors in our community, without teachers, health science teachers, uh, science teachers, uh, any educator in the community that's really supporting uh, our HOSA chapters. And so though there might be one, two, three uh, outline HOSA advisors, it's really that community of mentors that allows students to lead and allows students to compete and allows students uh, to gain uh, skills that will be undoubtedly uh, beneficial to them. Uh, so two very critical points and, and, and very important to the success of our organization. That's right. And, and so you mentioned competition. Uh, there are 88 competency-based mm -hmm. events at HOSA, and there are events that help shape, help address, help engage these students on their competency in any given area, right? So how do these events relate, the events relate to what students are actually learning in the classroom? Mm, yeah, great question. So like you mentioned, 88 competitive event opportunities for HOSA members, a lot of them actually being tied to, to core curriculum standards and health science education mm -hmm. objectives uh, across the country as well as globally. Really uh, at heart, uh, relating to the fact that what students are competing in di directly relates to what they're doing in the classroom. Other than that, uh, students have an opportunity to build skills uh, that will supplement what they're learning in sure. the classroom. If sure. it's building a more niche or unique skill set, uh, if it's participating in a specific 
uh, subfield uh, of a course that they're taking, uh, or if it's taking the knowledge they learn in the, uh, in the classroom to then uh, take uh, as a skill of that, to learn skills, if it's CPR, nursing, sports med, uh, first aid, wh whatever sure. that might be. So uh, several opportunities for students uh, either to continue growing from what they learn or uh, take those skills and apply them differently. Incredible. And, and it's also incredible that you encourage service projects. Mm -hmm. That's right. And one of those is be the match. Why? Why? Is this so important? And what is the purpose? Like, what is it and how can members get involved? Mm -hmm. Over the years, Hostess, Hostess had many great service projects, but uh, I think one of my favorites is uh, Be the Match, the current Hostess service project. Uh, and Be the Match is a, a premier world, uh, world player in, in bone marrow transplantation. And uh, we've seen many, many uh, famous newsworthy success stories of of Be The Match. And so it's an honor for us to be partnered with them uh, because it allows HOSA members uh, from, from uh, at the age of, you know, a high school student to have a direct impact uh, on someone's life, which we know uh, students participate in through other opportunities. But with Be The Match, I think some of the most rewarding opportunities we've seen members and chapters take advantage of, firstly, is signing up either for the bone marrow registry or pre-registry, even if they're not at that age by which they can donate, signing up to commit to, to, to donate, sure. uh, which uh, you know makes a huge impact uh, for, for, for uh, recipients uh, all over the world. The other piece is, is, is raising funds and, and, and swab drives in the community to not only raise awareness of such a good cause, but to undoubtedly uh, you know, create that impact and change in local communities. Uh, we're really blessed that a lot of HOSA members and chapters uh, around the world take part uh, and that's why it's such a great partner for HOSA to have. Incredible. Incredible. And so this week, we are live here at the International Leadership Conference for HOSA. And there will be 12,000 <laughs> delegates, 12,000 from all over the world attending this week. How are these delegates chosen mm. to attend this annual International Leadership Conference? Sure. So uh, a big chunk of our, our attendees and delegates at this conference, this International Leadership Conference in Dallas, Texas, uh, are uh, students who have uh, placed and have advanced from conference to conference, from local to state, state to some national and now international leadership conference uh, in their competitive events, like we mentioned earlier. Uh, we have a large number of educators and mentors from communities and, and community partners that have showed up to support our students. Uh, we also have the largest ever exposition and educational symposia opportunities uh, in HOSA's history here as well to supplement student learning, right. uh, as well as uh, a whole lot of our partners, uh, government sponsors, uh, and champions for health science education to round around to 12,000 <laughs> 12, champions uh, here, here at this conference. Kartik, congratulations. This is absolutely incredible to see the progress, the impact, mm -hmm. the pure, full-on mm -hmm. leadership of the organization to help address these shortages in the healthcare system as the pipeline, the only pipeline of pre post secondary healthcare students in the world. And so, what is the long term vision and goal for HOSA? What, we, what, 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 what stake are you setting in the ground to lean toward? Sure. Really forward? sure. I think uh, the other day, uh, one of our, our team members actually shared with me they hope that uh, 30, 40, however many years from now, each and every school in the world has a host of chapter. Now, until we get there, we, we really hope that students who are interested in health and health science education uh, have an ability to uh, either join host of future health professionals or have an opportunity to develop their skill sets. That's because right. we always see students at the level of either middle school, high school, collegiate. All they need and want is an opportunity. That's right. All they need and want is a is a space in That's which right. they can express their interests, their passion, uh, and and make some connections and That's friends right. while doing so. That's right. And so the goal is to offer each of those individuals that opportunity right. while supplementing and supporting the need there is uh, for healthcare services. Kartik Tiagi, international president, OSA Future Health Professionals.
Can't thank you enough for this exclusive interview <laughs> so at much. the HOSA International Leadership <laughs> Conference 2023. Thank you so very much. Thank you for having me. Of course. My pleasure.